Let's talk about the mole. No, not that mole, but the number we use in chemistry class, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. It's also known as Avogadro's number, because it's named after the scientist Amadeo Avogadro. It's a really big number, so big that we use scientific notation when we write it. If we were to write it out in standard notation, it would be 6, 0, 2, and then 21 zeros. But the mole is just a number. When we hear a mole, we think 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Just like when we hear a dozen, we think 12. Now you're probably thinking, that number is so big it doesn't really make any sense. Now 12, that's a number I can get. I can just think of a carton of eggs. There are 12 things there. But a mole, it's huge. Okay, so how big is the mole? Well picture this, you're lying in bed unable to sleep, and so you decide to start counting sheep. Now you really can't sleep, so you're going to need to count a lot of sheep. So you decide, I'm going to count a mole of sheep. You start counting at a rate of one sheep every second. How long would it take you to count to a mole of sheep at that rate? It would take 1.91 times 10 to the 16 years to count all those sheep. Wow, that's a lot. This mole thing still isn't really making sense. Okay, so let's try this. You count sheep at a rate of 1 million sheep per second. That's a million sheep every second. Now I know that's not actually possible. Let's just, just say you could do it. How long would it take you to count up a mole of sheep at this rate? Well, it would take 1.91 times 10 to the 10 years. That's 19.1 billion years. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old. So even if you start at the dawn of time, you still wouldn't be finished counting. Okay, starting to get the hint that the mole is a huge number, but let's just try one more. Let's say that you got every person on planet Earth to help you count. That's 7 billion people counting. So let's say all 7 billion people started counting at a rate of one sheep every second. So really that's 7 billion sheep counted every second. How long would it take the entire Earth's population to reach a mole of sheep? 2.7 million years. Okay, point taken. The mole is huge. It's a big number. We use the mole when counting tiny things like atoms and molecules, and luckily atoms and molecules are so small. A small bottle of water contains about 28 moles of water molecules. Yes, in that tiny bottle, there are 28 times Avogadro's number. Okay, let's get back to eggs for a minute, something I can actually wrap my mind around. Say you needed to go to the store and pick up three dozen eggs. How many eggs would you be buying? Well, that's pretty simple. You would just buy three cartons of eggs, and so you have three dozen eggs, which is 36 eggs. You just multiply 12 times 3 to get 36. How about this? Our recipe calls for six eggs. How many dozen eggs do you need? Well, again, pretty simple. That is half a dozen. You just divided 6 by 12 to get one half. Okay, let's get back to chemistry class. How many atoms are there in 2.5 moles of atoms? We're going to apply the same method we use when thinking about eggs. I know that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 things in a mole. In this case, those things are atoms. And I'm going to multiply that by 2.5. Now I've set this up as a math problem and watch this. When I have the same unit on the top and bottom of fractions like this, they cancel each other. And so the unit of mole cancels, and I'm left with units of atoms. And that's what I want. That's what my answer is going to need. And so the answer here is 1.51 times 10 to the 24 atoms. OK, let's try one more. How many moles of molecules are there in 1.19 times 10 to the 22 molecules of water? So in this case, we're going to take 1.19 times 10 to the 22 and divide it by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Once again, I've set this up using these conversion factors so that the units of molecules are going to cancel. And the answer is 0 0.0198 moles. So that means 1.19 times 10 to the 22 water molecules is the exact same thing as saying 0 0.0198 moles of water molecules. And that's the mole.